Follow up now to a developing story we first told you about on Fox 10 News at 4 p.m. Tonight, the mother of a man accused of imprisoning and torturing a man in Fairhope is speaking to Fox 10 News. And Bob, she says the shocking details aren't exactly what they seem. Paige Malone brings you her story. Ruthie Thompson is showing a much different image of her son than this one. This picture was taken at the Fairhope Jail when Robert Thompson was arrested for what police say is a gruesome crime. don't know. I'm just dumbfounded. Ruthie Thompson knows the alleged victim well. The day her son was arrested, she says she had asked him a question that she says sheds some light on the crime. But I had just that very day that this all happened on Tuesday said to Phil, now you have let your parents know where you are. And he said, my parents don't really care where I am. But according to police, he was being held against his will in this apartment, being tortured. Police say the victim was burned with a cigarette repeatedly. He was forced to take drugs and subjected to sexual abuse. Some of the degree of the torture, some of the sexual abuse that the victim had to endure uh, is just too shocking to be released to the public. According to neighbors and Ms. Thompson, the victim and Thompson had met online and the victim had just signed on to share the lease. This woman lives right under the apartment. Sickness makes you want to throw up, but you don't, don't want to eat. To know I've lived up, lived up under them for two years, almost two years. It's, but at least now maybe I can sleep. Ruthie Thompson says her son and the victim were in a relationship and were into bondage, but it was consensual. She says she was with the victim several times without her son. I took him downtown one time to the uh, bank by himself. Why didn't he just take off and go to the police department? Police say the victim was in contact with friends and family through text messaging, but was afraid to ask for help. I think when the police showed up, and there were so many of them, because I understand a zillion cars showed up over there, that he apparently got scared and thought, oh, I'll just turn this around and I'll make it like I was kidnapped and I've been held against my will. Police say the victim was taken to the hospital where he was treated for third degree burns and has since been released. In Fairhope, Paige Malone, Fox 10 News. Thompson is charged with domestic violence, assault, sodomy, sexual torture, and unlawful imprisonment.